let's talk more series. Today, we're going to talk about series I haven't started yet, but boy, do I want to start them. Stay tuned. That's coming right up here on Drew's Book Reviews. All right, let's talk about book series that I want to read that haven't started yet. I mean, if you follow this channel, you know I read a lot of series, not a lot of standalone books. Maybe I should read more standalone. I don't know. But anyway, I do read a lot of book series. Let's talk about the series of books that I have on my shelf that I haven't even started yet that I do want to get to. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, join me on my Discord. You can also join me down on my Patreon as well as Bookstagram. All that will be linked below. So let's get into it. Let's talk about series of books that I haven't even started yet that I do want to get into. So starting out with first, now this is in no particular order of course, but yeah, the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. So this one is made up of The Republic of Thieves, Red Sea Under Red Skies, and The Lies of Locke Lamora. I've heard a lot of really good things about this book series. People seem to really, really love it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's all about, to be honest. I probably should since I've watched so many videos on this series. But uh, essentially, yeah, the lies are the Gentleman Bastard series. So the Thorn of Camor is said to be an unbeatable swordsman, a master thief. A friend to the poor, a ghost that walks through the walls. Slightly built and barely competent with the sword, Lock the Mora is, much to his annoyance, the fabled Thorn. And while Locke does indeed steal from the rich, who else would be worth stealing from? The poor never see a penny. Locke's gains are strictly for himself and his tight-knit band of thieves. The capricious, colorful underworld of the ancient city of Camwar is the only home they've ever known, but now a clandestine war is threatening to tear it apart. Caught up in a murderous game, Locke and his friends are suddenly struggling to stay alive. So that, that definitely sounds interesting, and from what I've heard about the lies of Locke Mora and the Gentleman Bastard sequence, is it's good. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that series. One of the other series that I have heard a lot about that I'm really looking forward to getting to is Revelation Space or The Inhibitor by Alistair Reynolds, a masterpiece of a space opera. I love me a good space opera. I mean, I love Dune. I like Star Wars, Star Trek, you know, The Expanse. I love a good space opera. So I'm really looking forward to getting to this series, starting with Revelation Space with The Inhibitor Trilogy 1. So we'll see how I like that. I've heard a lot of good things about this series as well. So definitely, I can't wait to check that out. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. One of the other series is The Sendlin Ascends or Books of Babel by Josiah Bancroft. Another series I've heard of really good things about. And I'm really looking forward to getting to it. So apparently there's this Tower of Babel and it's another fantasy book series that I've heard a lot. So Senlin must enter the Tower of Babel, a world of geniuses, tyrants, and luxury and menace, unusual animals and mysterious machines. He must endure betrayal, assassination attempts, and the illusion of the tower. So that just sounds absolutely interesting, using the myth, I guess, or legend of Babel from the biblical story, maybe, I don't know. It's called the Towers of Babel. That's the first thing that comes to mind when I hear, hear that title. So the Books of Babel. So Senlin Ascends being the first one in that series. I'm definitely looking forward to getting to that. One of the other book series I'm really looking forward to is The Age of Madness by Joe Abercrombie. So this is, from my understanding, is set in his first well, World of Grimdark series. I did enjoy absolutely his world so far that has been built. You know, with the blade itself before they are hanged, all that good stuff. So A Little Hatred, book one of The Age of Madness. Just the title of that series itself just sounds awesome. I mean, The Age of Madness. Who wouldn't like that, right? So. You know, Grimdark, Joe Abercrombie, The King of Grimdark. I did enjoy his first trilogy of books, so I haven't done a video on it. But I did enjoy that, although apparently not as much as the rest of you two, who is absolutely crazy about Joe Abercrombie. That being said, I do like his works, and I am looking forward to getting to The Age of Madness, starting with A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. One of the other book series I'm looking forward to getting to is The Thrawn Ascendancy from Star Wars. Uh, a long time ago beyond a galaxy far away so that that should be interesting we'll check out and see that i first heard about this particular star wars book series from the nerdy narrative channel who she was talking about how leslie was talking about how much she loved the, the thrawn ascendancy or at least the first book and i think the middle one was kind of iffy for if i remember correctly i don't know maybe if you see this video leslie you can tell me 
But anyway, the Thrawn Ascendancy, I first heard about this on the Nerdy Narratives channel. So Star Wars Chaos Rising, Chaos Rising Thrawn Ascendancy is the first book in this series of books and i'm looking forward to getting that i have enjoyed other star wars books uh of course because i absolutely love star wars it's a great series overall some of the books are kind of hit and miss we'll kind of see how it goes though one of the other book series that i'm really looking forward to is the bloodsworn the shadow of the gods by john gwynn i haven't read any john gwynn yet but i've heard nothing but praise for his books and that he has written so far and everyone seems to be absolutely loving john gwynn and his books so i am looking forward to reading the shadow of the gods bloodsworn book one this is his second series i believe uh, so I won't be reading this before the other ones, but it is definitely on my list of to be read books and books I am absolutely looking forward to as far as series that I'm looking forward to getting to. So Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn, Bloodsworn Book 1. So with that in mind, of course, Malice, Book 1 of the Faithful and the Fallen has to be on my list of book series I am looking forward to getting into and starting. So of course I've got John Gwynn, Malice, Book 1 of the Faithful and the Fallen. Again, a book series I've heard so much about that I absolutely am really looking forward to getting into this series because people have talked so much about it here on booktube and I just haven't started I almost feel like I'm behind the time sometimes but I just kind of read books in the order that I buy them for the most part it's the only way it could stay sane otherwise I'm constantly gonna be like should I read this or that or then I'll never get to anything but anyway Malice John Gwynn Faithful and the Fallen is a book series I am certainly looking forward to getting to as well just because I've heard so many good things about this book series so one of the other book series I've heard a lot about on this on BookTube here is Christopher Rockhill's Sun Eater series. So the first book being Empire of Silence. This is another science fiction book series that I've heard so many good things about here on BookTube. And I'm really looking forward to getting to Christopher Rockhill's Sun Eater series. It's because people just keep going on and on and on about how awesome this book is and this series is. And I really can't wait to check it out because I've heard so many wonderful things about Empire of Silence and Sun Eater in general and Christopher Rocchio. I'm looking forward to getting to this book and I'm sure it will be just as good as everyone else because let's face it the booktubers I follow they tend to like the books kind of books that I like so if they're liking it I'm probably going to like it so Sun Eater book one of Sun Eater there you go one of the other books on my to be read pile that this Nobody's really talked about it lately, but I heard about it about a year, year and a half ago, maybe. It's when I first got it, which is R.F. Kuang's The Poppy War. So this is the Asian-inspired medieval fantasy based in history. That's my understanding of The Poppy War. And that, sh that concept in and of itself is definitely an interesting idea. Having a fantasy world based on a historical documented history, that's my understanding of The Poppy War, which was a kind of drug trade war in china from what i understand now i don't know how much this is going to follow any of that but it is asian inspired chinese inspired historical fantasy that is my understanding and i'm looking forward to getting to this series by rf kuang the poppy war being the first book being the first book in the series again another series that's kind of in some ways had a little bit of a mix some people loved it some have hated it but it seems to be more on the side of people do like this book series. So we'll see how that goes as far as the Poppy War goes. Next up is Red Sister, book one of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence. This will actually be the second book series that I will be reading by Mark, Mr. Mark Lawrence. First one being The Broken Empire. This one, uh, book one of the Ancestor. Again, another series I've heard a lot of good things about. And let's face it, I'm enjoying Broken Empire. So I see no reason why I wouldn't enjoy Book of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence. I have no doubt this will be an entertaining read. I always enjoy a good fantasy, and I did enjoy the Broken Empire series by Mark Lawrence. So I have no doubt I'm going to enjoy the Book of the Ancestors. So that is definitely on my list. So one of the other books on my list, this is again a book series by an author I have read before one of their other series, but I'm talking about Jim Butcher, and I am talking about The Furies of Calderon. Book one of the Codex Alira. I've got this whole series on my shelf. I haven't yet gotten to it. And you know, if the Dresden Files is any indication about how much I like Jim Butcher's writing, then I have no doubt I'm going to enjoy the Codex Alira series very much. Starting with the Furies of Cauldron. This is a book series that I just figured I'm going to like based on how much I liked Jim Butcher's series from the Dresden Files. Love that series, love Jim Butcher's writing. 
and I'm willing to bet that this is going to be a highly entertaining read as well, and I'm really looking forward to getting to the Furies of Calderon. So, we'll see how that goes. I don't know much about the series. All I know is I like Jim Butcher. I like his writing. I like his books. I'm probably going to like it. That's the way I look at it. One of the other ones, again, this is a book series that when it first came out or was first becoming popular was talked about a lot, but I haven't heard a lot of talk about it lately on BookTube, but it definitely seems like a series that I would enjoy as well. So this is by Evan Winter, Rage of Dragons. So this is going to be a fun read, I have no doubt. Now, from my understanding, is the biggest thing people are disappointed by with this book is that despite the title Rage of Dragons, there's really very little in the way of actual dragons in this book. So, maybe that was just a misconception. I don't know. But uh, honestly, I never go... I, I didn't pick this up thinking, ooh, this book has got to have a bunch of dragons in it. I just love the title. I love the world. I love what I've heard about it so far. Again, this book, some there are some that kind of really didn't like it and some that have really absolutely loved it, but most seem to be on the side of liking it, which is why I picked it up and bought it. So the book one, Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, is a series that I am looking forward to getting into as well. Because, as always, I absolutely love my fantasy series. This is all about science fiction and fantasy, the bulk of what I read. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well. And then finally, last on the list, a book series that I am looking forward to getting to that I haven't started yet. This is actually a book from a series. This is actually a book series I actually heard about while watching a documentary on genetic engineering. This book was referenced, and that is Orcs and Crake by Margaret Atwood. Now, so Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, who of course is of the fame of The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, both the TV show, the books, and the popularity with The Handmaid's Tale. So Oryx and Crake is about a dystopian future with genetic engineering going on to genetically engineer people and animals and all kinds of stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting to this and seeing Margaret Atwood's take on this. Of course, I did enjoy The Handmaid's Tale and the follow-up, The Testaments. And that's really those were the only two books I'd read by Margaret Atwood. So I decided to pick this series up when I heard about it because I thought it sounded like a really interesting series. So we'll see how I enjoy that kind of a dystopian sci-fi genetic engineering concept behind this book series. And that's about all I know about it, honestly. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy it. I have no idea when I'm going to get to these series. All these series are far down my TBR list for the most part, but I will get to them eventually. All these series have been praised on BookTube for the most part, although I haven't heard much about the Margaret Atwood book series on BookTube. But most of them uh, I actually heard about through BookTube and seeing what other people thought of these videos. So, you know, definitely BookTube is a great community for helping me find new authors to read, new books to read, new series to check into. And these are a bunch of series that I'm really looking forward to getting to. So, you know, let me know down in the comments below. What series are you interested in reading? Are any of these series on your radar? Or have you read any of these book series? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, of course, follow me on Discord. You could join me over there and we could chat about it as well check out my bookstagram i'll have that link below and of course patreon as well i am posting videos every friday so like comment subscribe check out those sites down there and hit that bell notification so you know when i post new videos and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and as always of course until next time keep on reading bye